tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And good morning, West Michigan. We are starting off on a relatively quiet note, but a fairly warm note. The heat wave begins on this Sunday. We're tracking 90s ahead of us and also an excessive heat watch going into effect. We'll start off with where we are right now, low to mid 60s across the board. High temperatures today will top off near that 90 degree mark. As we top off near 90, we will have a good deal of sunshine in the mix, but also a chance for a few storms. I'll have more about that in just a few minutes. This excessive heat watch officially was issued this morning right Right around 3 a.m. It officially goes into effect Monday afternoon and carries through Friday evening. We'll likely see a heat advisory and or excessive heat warning get issued. The watch is just to get you ready for what's to come. It also will be quite breezy today. I know it's Father's Day. A lot of people probably headed to the lakeshore, but keep in mind, we do have a beach hazard statement in effect as wind speeds are expected to persist at about 15 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon with top wind gusts near that 25 to 30 mile per hour mark. This is going to ramp wave heights up pretty significantly significantly. Areas near and north of about Ottawa County are those three counties, of course, in that beach hazard statement until 2 a.m. on Monday. And wave heights expected to be at about three to five feet. Lots of red flags expected to fly in that vicinity. Finally, we are tracking some chances for thunderstorms this week. It's not going to be a complete washout and really no severe weather in our vicinity, but a lot of pop-up showers and thunderstorms will be possible because of all the humidity surging into our area. So take a look at our future cast here. You should be dry this morning for any Father's Day plans. A couple showers will be possible near and north of about the Fremont area tonight, but it seems like a bulk of those showers will actually hold off until overnight, and these will be south of I-94. Few rumbles of thunder looking possible, but again, really just looking like heavy rain for most of us. And by Monday morning as well as into the afternoon, we should have a quick return to those dry conditions. As mentioned, no severe threat for us, but if you're traveling north, keep in mind there is a marginal risk for the UP and parts of northern Michigan, including Traverse City and, and Ludington there as well. Again, that's a level one on our scale. There just could be, again, some rumbles of thunder as well as some strong storms in the mix. 90 degrees is your high today. Monday, actually the warmest of your eight-day forecast. We're up to 94 there. Both Monday and Tuesday will have a chance for a few isolated showers in the mix there as well. Wednesday is going to be possible as well, but it's looking a little bit less likely. Thursday looking mostly dry too. And then that activity sort of picks up as we head towards the end of the week. Next weekend looking mostly dry and hot as well. Sunday will be the first day that we'll start to see signs of a cool down. We'll probably be back in the 80s next week, but a nice long stretch. Rarely do we get eight days in a row in the 90s here. Man, I have a feeling those pools, the splash pads, yes. all those things are going to be very busy the next week. Mm -hmm. Check the air <laughs> conditioner now, just, yeah. just in case. Mine's yeah. functioning. <laughs> I tested it out.